Hello and welcome, Capricorn, to your February 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. You are watching Thomas's Tower Readings. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Now, Capricorns, usually I have, uh, I, I start um, the camera, do my little introduction and then tell you what we're doing. Um, and what we will be doing here is that we have um, or divide your reading slightly into three sections, which are the overall energy. So we will look at the overall energy for the month of February 2023 for your very sign of Capricorn before we then look into your emotional core, which means if there's love coming in or something needs to go, that kind of stuff, before we then lastly look into um, opportunities and opportunities for the most part are sort of about what sustains you financially. The reason why this is all very different here is because I normally record all the signs, hopefully if I can, on the same day in a row. And so um, in between takes, if that makes sense, if in between signs that I record, um, I shuffle. And in your case, I was about to shuffle and three cards fell out, which means the universe is literally saying, don't shuffle, here's exactly what you need to tell them. And I only work here, so I do as I am told. So the first card <coughs> that has to do with your overall um, energy is solar flares and activate. Now, why is this important? It is important because in February, the moon itself sits in the full moon. Sorry, the full moon sits in Leo. Leo is the only sign that is governed by the sun. And the sun is constantly um, dealing with solar flares, which in fact, and in turn, affect your aura, right? And our, our um, magnetic field, if that makes sense. So your job is to understand that your magnetic field, your aura, is what you need to activate. And what that means is, that, you know, it's not that, you know, your aura is never not activated. But the point is, the aura is like a, a, a protective layer that you have before we even talk about chakras. So the point is, while this is not about what color the aura has to have this month, here's how this works. The card that fell out here is numbered because it corresponds to a booklet. But it is completely irrelevant because every number carries its own energy in numerology, which is very much related to astrology. And the number that you have is one and seven, which is eight. And eight is the number of stumbling blocks. But also eight is the number of um, spiders and scorpions who have eight legs and they are really really strong powerful animals that create what they want to create point is you have to activate what it is you want in other words because you have it is about your aura watch your life and go like okay so who is invading my space without asking to whom am i giving way more time than i give to myself that is the energy that you have and, you know, that protective layer that you have, which is your aura, um, needs you to be more aware that it is there and work for you. So just make sure you have some boundaries um, in February 2023. That seems to be very, very important, dear Capricorns. Okay. And then the second card, which is the card that... Um, has to do with your emotions and your, uh, you know, whether or not there's love coming or, 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 or healing can come and go, you have cultivate and Taurus. So again, Taurus is all about boundaries. So in relationships, whether or not you are wanting one or you are in one, make sure that in these relationships, you still have a lot of me time and time where you can make sure the other party is not overriding um, your emotion because cultivate means to work together and to cultivate a community that actually works and when it comes to um, your emotional core to, to your love life that's what you're asked to look at this month uh, conversely like I said if you're not in a relationship um, then the, 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 the idea here is that when you manifest a new relationship or someone comes in a new relationship Make sure that they understand if you don't want to be there, if you don't want to be around them 24-7, that is not antisocial, it's just you, right? So the more you can let them know up front, the easier this is going to be. All right, and then when it comes to your opportunities, it's even better <laughs> 
for the month of February 2023 for the sign of Capricorn because you have abundance in Jupiter. Well, Jupiter is a so-called happy-go-lucky planet, which means, you know, um, you don't have to follow old patterns. You don't have to go like, oh, yeah, I only really know this, that's, so that's what I need to be doing. You know, allow yourself to think outside of your comfort zone and be outside of your comfort zone um, and maybe go for something you haven't done, which is important because the card on the number on your card is 23 and 2 and 3 is 5 and 5 is the number of change. So it would make a lot of sense or it will make a lot of sense for you this month, Capricorns, to look at how happy am I in the scheme of things, with whatever it is that, that, that sustains me financially, right? And maybe I um, can add stuff, uh, but first and foremost, your entire energy here is about having boundaries of thoughts to make sure that um, even when you go for something entirely new, right? Um, don't sell yourself short and... Um, Listen to how people respond to what you're saying because that's another boundary, you know. So that's all I got for you. And um, please like, subscribe and share. And um, I hope I see you next month. Goodbye, Capricorns.